Welcome back guys. This is unfinished. Kama Kawaida, this is the only place where we get to finish and finish matters. Today we're talking about social media lifestyle, specifically about influencers. And on to our next question. Do you think influencers make a lot of money? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yeah, like there is this influencer being said I, f I used to follow him before he had money. But right now, <laughs> the guy is he's on top. Yeah, you can say they earn a lot. Yeah. Not all. Yeah. Uh, some make uh, some make a lot of money by the way. You can influence someone. Influencing someone by the way Nick to poor. So you can influence someone to say, eh, this guy influenced me, achani mlipe hivi, amachani patie do, kumsh. Like, just to thank the girl, no, no. Yeah, they can make a lot of money, by the way. I can't say a lot. I can say just um, average <laughs> amount of money. Uh, I think when they get, like, deals and brands sponsoring their content and do advertisement, I think they do earn some money. Uh, I think as, but, uh, you see like when you start following an influencer from when they started doing content and then after some time, <coughs> sorry, after some time their life changes like automatically. They now start living in a better house, doing better things. I think the money comes in eventually, but I, I don't know if it's a lot of money. <laughs> I can't say, let, let me just say it's, um, let me say good money. I'm not really sure how much, uh, but when they start getting sponsors and deals and brands, I think they start getting some good money. Yeah. yeah. That depends with uh, with your influence, your audience, and your fan base. For example, Mtukama Aziad, she's earning. Now, how is it with Aziad in the same uh, level na influences wengine? Because Babu Aziad say you can meet a mahali and as a kupea nini, and as a kupea a good testimony about TikTok, and as a kupea good testimony about internet when you're in a So, yeah. so internet in a lipa, like I said, is new umedienga vipi. Na kujijenga siyo raisi, it's a process. So, social media, it's another, nesema it's another resource ambaye GNZ, we are lucky to have, especially in this generation. So, we, we are supposed to, to utilize it to the maximum. So that, yani, to, to utilize positively. To singe tu, maybe kama sisi tunangalia tu TikTok, mtu wame dance, mtu wafana nini, ah, inalipa social media. Kamu kuna laptop, kamu kuna smartphone, and you have access to Wi-Fi, kuna 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 data vizuri. Unaweza fanya vitu vingi na internet. Not all. Not all. Others are just cloud chasing. Yeah, they don't make a lot of money. You just wear a suit outside, but inside, you are, you are really groaning and you really in trouble. Yeah, not all make money. Yeah, of course, influencers make a lot of money because it depends on, or it depends on trustworthy of the influencers. Apo kwa person na jona tengeneza, but apo kwa lot cha izi. Do kama kwa tenza lot of money so ngi kwa maji tengeneza ya di makeja, suku tuchapa na vitu zenye wamenua, wamenua kwa botik. Yeah, it depends. Na ile contact amekuja na yo. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going in fact. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, Jui and you can create content smart. You can have a followers, you can have a like, you can have a do. Yeah, you can do. Subscribers, yeah. <laughs> it depends. It depends on the influencer, na the influencer, the influencer. Nituaje the nini cooperatives the nyume fanya nazo nini ambassadors nini it depends yeah kama judge tuma kama influencer there is no way you can make money depends who is influencing uh, if you look like there are others who are mefika there are others who are not there yet but they are faking it so it it can be very murky you wezi jua who is getting more paid unless they show you the receipts. Or maybe they had uh, money at one point, then Zikaisha, then maybe Zikarudi. It, it's not always your bet. Yeah, they really make a lot of money, like being brand ambassadors. That's a lot of money, working for a brand. They really make some quite amount of good money. I think influencers make a lot of money. Yeah, and TikTok na is on my platforms, I'm sure. Na they earn handsomely, that I must say. So a good percentage of them do earn as much as they do portray online. 
majority, a good number of the people I know earn as much as they say they do. I think it varies with different people and the type of brand that they choose to work in. You cannot compare someone who does real estate with someone who, who influences makeup, for example. Like, there's a very huge gap between the incomes that each one of them gets. On to our last question. Do you think influencers should be taxed? Let me know what you think in the comment section at y 254 and finish. No, not really. Because how would you pin it down? You tax them in line with what exactly? Doesn't make sense for me personally. Yeah, kama sisi wengine tunataxiwa mbona wao wasitaxiwe. Everybody should be taxed by the way. Eh na hii economy kila mtu akwe tu taxed. Si ati at my influencers, si ati si mabombe nini. No. Kila mtu akwe taxed tukwe equal. Yeah, they earn a lot so they should be taxed like any other Kenyan. So, yeah. Yeah, but not that much taxation. It uh, it should have a limitation taxation. So since influ influence you a higher percentage, I mean, yeah. So no matter you come a positive effects in a fight tax zero, because the more the more taxation, the more I mean the more the more good characters it will it will it will be regained. Well, tax kidana, I mean I don't think we're going to tax. The only thing to Omenganganana <laughs> wanafaa kukulipa kama youth unafaa unafaa kulipa lakini ufae kutaxiwa na mse no but maybe somehow they should be taxed sababu pia ni kazi so you are earning so you need to be taxed i don't think they should uh, uh, i don't really think what they make is that I, it's a lot to be taxed okay when we tax them i, I don't think wa watabaki na anything to be honest because even the platforms they are using um, these platforms do take some of their money. It's not like uh, whatever they get, let's say, let's say like a um, YouTube influencer, whatever they earn on YouTube, they don't get 100%. Okay, on the basis of if the government, if the government has, has, has put in place uh, which is uh, influencing, maybe they have put uh, influencing sports, then they should be tasked. But if the influencer, uh, without the support of the government, then I don't think they should be taxed for now. Of course, you know, where do we, why are we taxed? This taxation, we are provided some utilities that each and every one of us are using. So I don't see it's really good for you to be using what you are using as public services, while still has you're being taxed and you're not taxed. So I think tax, taxing them, it will be like... Uh, a equal measure for each and every one of them. So, right, they should be taxed. Yeah, on a four poor tax, you to come a kilo of course. Everyone should pay tax. Yeah. So, oh, Maluna Ann, see, Ulipetu, we should. No, you have Vitombavio mostly have you have you have you taxed. Cuts can share to me, be a shara is a magend. Be shares a magend on as you do, and as you be a shara that in your mind. Asa pale mifikia, sioni kama influencers wanafaa kwa tax at this particular moment. Kwa sababu we are not even sure about the future. Because uh, technology is so dynamic na hatuwezi jua ita evolve to which side the next move ita evolve. So say what if we impose taxes on someone like unamkata una ushuru alafu something happen. Kwa sababu hii ni internet wale ambao maybe wana to serve na internet wanaweza mwa tu siku moja kuipull down alafu what happens so i don't think if they are supposed to be taxed labda kama kuna biashara zingine mbali na ile wanafana as ya mambo na influencing sidhani kama ni sawa kwa taxed it's very early yeah 
speaking this from a content creator's point of view, I also think that they should be taxed. Reason being, it's a job like any other, and um, they are also using utilities that we are paying to use. That is maybe, you know, roads, electricity, and stuff like that. We have come to the end of the show, but before that, I would like to appreciate you guys who commented on the last topic, and I'll read a few of your names. Um, we have Kim Kumu, Sherry Sherry's, Hila Unique, uh, Macho Brian, Mwangingali, Agustin Muni, J. Isanya, Mafrika, J. J. Vista Kim, Brian Kalis, Winston Pogba. That's not everyone, but that's at least all I could do for now. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for supporting Y254 and Finish. Thank you to the camera person, Yamatiko. Thank you to Brenda and everybody else there at the back. Thanks to Kevin. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye.